Hey guys, my name's Lainey and I go by Lainey Fire on the internet and welcome to or back to my YouTube channel. So today I'm showing you guys how I make my Sims plus CC must-haves. So, no one's asked me to do this, but I saw people are doing this on YouTube, so I just thought I'd do it too. So yeah, let's just jump right in. So first of all, I usually take all of the clothes off just so we have our base. So now that we have our base, I am going to start with skin tones. I have these skin tones. They're by Latimies, I think is how you say it. I will have a Tumblr post with everything I say and use on this sim today, and I'll link the Tumblr post down in the description. So if you want anything that I say or put on my sim today, it'll all be linked up in the description. But usually I just click around and find one that I like. I kind of like this one today on her. So now that we have the skin tone, I go for facial features. So head shape, I have these by Northern Sir Siberia Winds, I think. Yeah, Northern Siberia Winds. And I kind of just do the same thing by just clicking around. I kind of like this one right now. Number seven is the one I'm using today. Now, I guess I should probably go for eyes too. So I've been really liking this one by Go Pulse Me. It's eye preset number one. And it's just a really nice almond shape and I really like it. And so now I also go to nose. And I really like these by Evie, Evie, Evie Oxer, E V O X Y R. So I like these and I just think they're so cute. They just have like a really good shape. And I might go for, not that one, number four today. I'm also gonna make it a little bigger and a little wider like that. Now lips. My favorite lip presets at the moment are these by Twisted Cat. I like this one or this, no, this one's the best. It doesn't have a number though, but it's that one, the one closest one of these. So, lastly, I might do cheek. It might be hard to do cheek. I kind of only really go for the cheeks with my male sims because it gives them more of a stronger cheek. So, yeah, and jawline. I like this one by Symbians. It just gives them a nice chiseled jaw. And I don't think I have one for chin. I have a couple, I guess, but I don't really use really chin presets. So I'm just gonna keep the one, maybe make it a little longer though. And yeah, so I think our base is done. So let's go for um, eyebrows. Where are my favorite ones at the moment? My favorite eyebrows right now are, they are uh, Peachy Fairy number four, and they're just very nice straight eyebrows. They're very like thin and I like them like that. I just like how they look and just everything about them. So we'll go for these. I really like how she's looking so far. And... After that, I usually go for skin details, but then after skin details, I go back and edit her face just a little more just to perfect it. So skin details, my fav we'll go for my favorite skin detail. My favorite skin detail right now is this oat milk skin detail. I forget who it's by, but it has some options and stuff, so in stuff. But I really like it. It just gives them like this so soft baby look and I just love it so much. So I'm gonna go for the oat milk skin blend. And next of all, I might not do the, sometimes I do this here, but I'm probably not gonna do eyelashes in this. But what I do use is the face kit by Pixis. I like to use it in this swatch. It just gives them some nose definition around their nose. So I have the Pixis face kit. Also, I like freckles. So today I'm gonna do, which freckles should I show? 
I like these. These are my favorite. So we'll go for these. They're by Peachy Fairy. They have so many cool stuff by Peachy Fairy. I love them. So I'm gonna go for these. Which are already looking so, she's already looking awesome. I love her so far. And then next I'm gonna go in this category. I might go for the Okri miscellaneous details in this one. It just gives them a little Cupid's bow, just more pronounced, I guess. See like before and then after. So I'm gonna give that to her. And then I have this GS skin blend, or GS like skin detail. It just gives them a little bit of highlight and blush and even it has like little pores like right here and stuff and it's really awesome highly recommend that and then i like this peachy fairy again peachy fairy contour so if i do it on the darkest setting you can see it's right here like around her cheeks and under her chin or lips so i really like that one too and nose mask i like this one by obscurus it's the n2 nose mask overlay set i like completely mixed that up but it's fine and i just like how they have a lot of options and just different for different nose shapes i usually go for that one i usually go for this one for that specific nose preset i usually go for the one closest at this one this one usually and then I really like this shadow thing by Simandy right now. It like adds just a shadow to your Sims face. I usually like this one right here. It's more of a subtle shadow. And I just see, I just think it looks very cute. I like it. And so before and after, it just gives it more definition, which I really like. And then last but not least, well, almost last but not least, but this one it's a collarbone overlay i just think it looks very nice on the sim to have a nice collarbone it looks pretty realistic i might not be alpha but i do like realism in a way and last but not least i like to go okri miscellaneous details again but in this one and it just gives them like highlight around their eyes and their cupid's bow so yeah i think that's done i think our skin details are done so now i'm gonna go back and fine tune i might make her nose a little in but then put that part up like that just so it's not too long and make me make it a little stronger of a nose so yeah i think i happy with her so far i might tweak in a little bit but next i usually go for eyelashes so since i didn't do it for skin details i have glasses eyelashes the sad part if you don't use them in skin details you have you can't wear glasses with them but i don't really care because i don't think i'm gonna put any glasses on her anyway but i really like these by Obscurus. So I like it in this one or this one. I think I'm going to go for this one. It's the eyelash 3D Lashes in one by Obscurus. So I'm going to go for this swatch. And so yeah. Now I usually... Actually, I'm going to go for ears. I have a couple ears that I like. So I'm going to go for these same people from the nose, I think. Yeah, I think I used the same person from the nose this one is ear preset one and it's just a little elf ear and i love it i just love little elf ears so yeah i think i'm done with the face now i think i'm gonna go for her eyes i might i kind of want to change her eye color she looks nice with green eyes though or purple or yellow oh yellow i'm gonna give her yellow eyes i just love how they look i give all my sims yellow eyes that's just me <laughs> so my favorite eyes at the moment right now are these ones by sims 3 melancholic they are contact 100 and 
they're right about here. And I just love them. They're not too realistic, but they're just realistic enough for them to be Max's mix, I think. So they look like that. I might not go for yellow with these. I might go for like a green, maybe in like this color. And that swatch like that. I just love how they look. So I'll go for that swatch and I'll just change her eyes to like a green. Maybe that color. Hopefully that matches up. So now I'm gonna wait to do her makeup and accessories and hair until after. No, maybe I should do her hair. Honestly, I kind of do things all over the board, but I might do her hair now. But first I go into cheek scars and I use the Moomoo blush in cheek scars. It just adds some blush, which I really like. So yeah, I think I'm done with her skin details and stuff. So for hair, right now my favorite hair for people with elf ears is, where is it? Is this one by Okri. It just gives them a really cute, it's like a really cute short hairstyle with bangs and stuff. And I just love it so much. And you can completely see the elf ears and I just love, love it. Yeah, I'm gonna go for this. This one's one of my favorite hairs right now. So we'll go for this hair. And I'm, I don't know, am I gonna keep the hair color? I was kind of thinking going like a redhead. Actually, I might just keep it the hair color. I like it. Next, I'm gonna go for body. I'm, I'll do makeup and accessories after. So let's go to bodies. I like the way she looks, but I am gonna give her one of these bodies. It just adds um, different shape. Oh no. Just adds just different shape to them. Like slightly different and I like it. I guess I completely changed everything. Oh well. <laughs> what am I even talking about? But I like this one. I'll go for this one today. And so I have the body done. I do like to make her a little less curvy. And just a more realistic body type. And then maybe I'll make her have stronger shoulders today. So yeah, we'll do that. Yeah, nice. So now I'm gonna go for clothes. Let's go for my favorite jacket thing. I actually discovered this while I was doing one of my, I think it was random genetics challenge. And ever since I put that on my sim, I love it. It's like my favorite outfit. Or it's literally my favorite jacket in, in game. I want it in real life. But I highly recommend it. It's this one by Mars Marsmerizing. Marsmerizing? Oh, like mesmerizing, so Marsmerizing. <laughs> okay. So I like it. It's just so cool. Like look at that. I might go for a different swatch than I did in the challenge. I kind of like this swatch. So we'll go for this swatch. And for pants. I did not think this far. <laughs> I did not think this far ahead, but <laughs> I'll come back when I find one. Oh yeah, I like these pants by Simplicity. They make alpha clothes and hair. So it's a little more realistic than the rest of what I've been doing, but I just think it's like a perfect mix between Alpha and Maxis Match. So, and I'm a Maxis mix, so it doesn't really matter. But I might go for this swatch. I like it. And then shoes. So shoes. I'm gonna go for, we'll go for somebody that I have a lot of shoes with. Like this, maybe I'll go for this, these people. It's by Jewess, Jewess? They make a ton of shoes and I accidentally, not accidentally, but I accidentally kind of got carried away and downloaded all their shoes off their patron. Is it Patreon or patron? I don't know. But I really like, I really like their shoes, so I'm not mad, but I might go for oh 
these. We'll go for these. I kind of like how they look. Maybe to match the pink. So something matches. So yeah, I think I got that. Next, I'm gonna go for accessories like under this bottom. On her, what's that called? Like her, bo oh, her body, dang. I will do her accessories for her body. So I like fingernails and stuff. I'll go for these by In I you know you know I think they're just they have like really cute little just prints on the nails and I just love them my favorite one is this one it has like really cute cow cow print it has a sky smiley face it's just my favorite so I might go for some socks too not leggings, socks. I think these are the same by Jewess. Jewess? I might go for these. They're by Jewess too. And I just kind of like them as well. Maybe we'll go for like a minty color just so it matches that. I'm not really good at matching things, but I kind of like it. So that is that. Now let's go finish up the face. I'm gonna go for her accessories now. Or maybe makeup. We'll go for makeup first. So I already have her contacts, so we don't need to worry about that. I usually go for more natural or lip gloss look. And I think I'm gonna go for the same thing with her. I really like this one by Remus Siren. Like these three, I just like how they look. Like look at look how nice they look on her. I might do this one, but in a different color. Oh, that's pretty. It matches her blush. Does it look nice from afar? Yeah. It looks nice. I like it. So we'll go for that. Um, eyeliner. I'm gonna go for more of a like a this this is my favorite um winged eyeliner i like these but this takes the cake for all of these it's by cosmetic it's eyeliner i can't really read it but it just adds like a little smoky and definition to her eyes you can't even see it right here you can see it from here but it just adds like a really nice soft wing and i really like that I'll come back and see. I usually go, it has a lot of different shades too of brown and it varies depending on what you want. And I usually go for this brown shade, but I don't know what I'm gonna do for her, um, for her eyes. So I'm not so sure if I'm, I'll keep it black for now basically. So we'll go for eyes now. I don't know if I really wanna put too much eyes on her. I really like her without makeup, but I do want to get as much of my favorite stuff on The Sim so you guys have stuff to download. So I will put something on her. I really like this Ice Queen eyeshadow by Praline. And it just adds a little sparkle. I mean, it's a lot of sparkle there, but if you find one that's closer to the skin color like this, it's just shiny and pretty. So I might go for one of these. Or blue. Should I do blue? Or pink and Ooh, I like the pink and gold. We'll go for the pink and gold. With that said, I might make her eyeliner brown. Yeah, I'll... Or maybe just the darker brown. Not too light. Like that. Yeah, I like that. We'll go for that and accessories i'll go for some piercings i like the way she looks without like septum piercings and lip piercings and stuff i'm thinking more of earrings for just for her i'll go for my something that i use a lot i use this a lot oh i love this it's tear tear yeah tear 
they have them for both sides but it's just really pretty it's just like a little hoop let me move that down so it works but it has one on one side it's only a hoop and then it has like a i can't see it it has like a diamond and a hoop right here i just love how it looks so we'll do that i don't know what color though should i do a different color maybe gold Ooh, rose gold we'll do rose gold i like that and then last but not least we'll do a necklace I really like this one by... Will it fit though? I like this one by Clumsy Alien. You can't really see it though. I might change the color to maybe this. Just one that you can see. Like maybe this color. But it's a little moon and I love it. It's one of my favorite um, accessories I have in the game. Next to the nails that I showed you guys. And yeah. I think I'm done with the sim. She is a very stereotypical Laney Fire sim. So yeah. <laughs> so what is her traits? She is an unflirty freegan who's a bit gloomy. Am I right? Yeah. And aspiration, location, and she wants to help with Strangerville. <laughs> And your name is, oh, one, two, three, Lana Brothers. So it's Lana Brothers. I love the name Lana. So Lana Brothers, and this is the finished Sim. I love how she turned out completely. I think she turned out really cute. Well, I mean, of course she turned out cute. It's basically what I make every time, but it's fine. So I think we're done here. I've pretty much shown everything that I want to show or highlight. And I'm also thinking about doing a series on CC must-haves, but just but centered on a topic, if that makes sense. Like CC must-haves hair, CC must-haves makeup, contacts, you know, presets. If you guys want to see that, please let me know down below. And I might even do that for, maybe I might do this again for a male sim if you guys want to see that too. So if you want to see those two things, please let me know down below. And yeah, so thank you guys so much for watching. Please like, share, subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye guys.